So I just discovered a spot in the car where I can put my phone and record and be hands-free. So I'm not breaking any laws. Anyways, I am on my way to Toronto. I'm going to meet up with Fraser and Miles and we're going to a geek swap. It's an event, I think this is like the eighth one. And it's an event they hold at a bar in downtown Toronto where people can bring in geek stuff and figures and comics and video games and anything geek related and knickknacks and stuff. So I got a bunch of stuff, some action figures, t-shirt, um, a couple of knickknack things. And I'm hoping I can trade for video games. I know Miles and Frazier in the past have had good luck with uh, getting some video games out of people. That's what I'm hoping to find. But I'm also hoping to just have a good time and hang out with the boys for a while. So, um, yeah. Hopefully I'll get some footage while I'm there. I was told it's pretty dark inside because it's a bar. But we shall see. So, awesome. Stay tuned. You'll like what you see. Alright, we're leaving. Frazier's place. Yeah! Been here for a while, chilling out. And Watching him pack up his goodies that we're going to trade. Going to Geek Swap. Geek Swap, my first time popping my cherry. Frazier's uh, and Miles. Like four or five. And Miles will be gentle, I swear. Yeah, Miles, we're going to meet him there. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to get some footage there. It's very dark, though, so. Yeah, Frazier's been before. He says it's a really great place to actually pick up video games and trade for others. Like I said, what was the last one I told you? Uh, a stack of like five or six comics traded for a. Whoa, that's bright! From Mega Man 2. Yeah, and we're gonna crash here in a second because we can't see. I can see, don't worry. So I got these sunglasses on. We will uh, check in later. And this is the strip club that is attached to a church. That's right, folks. A strip club is attached to a church. Probably can't hear, but I made my first trade. I got a copy of No Mercy. Traded actually a couple of Fraser games for it. So it's pretty cool here so far. This has been a great time. Picked up lots of games. Uh, got an Ash figure. And uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm vlogging to myself here. I don't know how long it's working, but not live, no. See? I'm just vlogging. What's going on, Geek Swap, baby? <laughs> You've had enough. As you can see, Miles has had a few drinks. Anyways, awesome sauce. Wow, what an awesome time. What a great event, Geek Swap, that was put on. I got to go down and hang out with Fraser and Miles. Took me to my first Geek Swap and had a blast. Sorry about the quality of the footage, it was very dark in there and I did what I could with what I had and I just wanted to kind of capture some stuff so you can see what it was about. I believe it was Geek Swap 5 at Dundas Video in Toronto and they tend to do like two of these a year, maybe, maybe more than that, but definitely I think two a year. And everybody just goes, brings geeky stuff, toys, video games, comics, um, action figures, <clears throat> tons of awesome stuff was there and everybody just trades. Um, I went specifically looking more for video games than anything, and I brought a bunch of stuff to trade with. Uh, I brought uh, a whole bunch of action uh, horror figures I had. I had a pinhead figure. I had uh, Captain Spaulding. I brought um, a bunch of Simpsons characters I had. And uh, yeah, so everything that I brought with me I traded towards a bunch of video games. And a couple non-video game items. Um, some movies as well. And I'll just go over everything that I got there. First was this awesome... Ash bobblehead figure. Very cool figure. I've seen this guy before. I want to get the pop figure. This is the non pop figure, but that's Ash. Uh, not Evil Dead, I guess, or Army of Darkness. So that was very cool. And as well, I grabbed two action figures. Uh, I got these kind of for me and kind of for my son. Wolverine was always my favorite, so I got myself a little Wolverine. And the guy had Juggernaut as well. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! So I grabbed these guys. My son kind of had interest in them, but this is my favorite Wolverine. I loved watching the cartoon growing up. So I grabbed these guys, toss them somewhere on my shelf. And then I ended up grabbing a stack of movies, um, DVDs and, and uh, one Blu-ray, uh, or two Blu-rays I believe. I don't tend to really collect movies unless it's something I really, really want. And I more or less took these to help balance out some deals. Uh, but they're all ones that I'm definitely gonna keep, maybe. We'll see. Anyways, first one is 
Weird Science. Love this movie. It's been a while since I've seen it. And this is the um, like a flashback edition, so I guess it's got a bunch of bonus features in that. Got a copy of The Return of the Living Dead on Blu-ray. Love this classic, uh, I wouldn't call it classic, but awesome take on the zombies. Um, if you've never seen this one, you need to give it a shot. Very unique zombies in this one. Come in to smash. Send more paramedics. I then picked up a Schwarzenegger three pack. Got myself True Lies. Predator. And Commando. Love all three of these movies. Awesome Schwarzenegger movies. Another Blu-ray I grabbed here was just again to balance out a deal, and that's Mad Max Fury Road. I haven't seen this one, so I figured why not trade for it, and if I don't like it, I'll just uh, flip it or sell it to somebody else. And last one is a classic comedy. If you have not seen this, you're doing yourself a disservice, and you need to stop what you're doing and go and watch it right now, and that's Kingpin. Woody Harrelson and the show stealer Bill Murray in this, awesome. So if you've not seen Kingpin, go check that one out. Your bladder feels like an overstuffed vacuum cleaner bag, and your butt is kind of like an about to explode bratwurst. Hey, do you mind? I wasn't talking when you were bowling. Was I talking out loud? Was I? Sorry. And now one of the games that I got while I was there. Again, everything I traded was stuff that's been in boxes or in stored in the garage that I used to collect or had picked up at some point or another and haven't used in a while. So I traded for WWF No Mercy on the N64. I got a copy of The Jungle Book on Super Nintendo and I actually got this one given to me for nothing. The guy didn't seem to want anything off my table and said, you know what, just take it. So, hey, can't say no. Lego Marvel Super Heroes on the Wii U, a game. This one, no manual, although I think most of the Wii games don't have them now. Uh, this was another freebie. The guy had a table full of stuff and he was just like, whatever you guys want, take. So I snagged this one. I got a copy of Bully Scholarship Edition on the Wii. Copy of Trauma Center Second Opinion. And actually, the reason I picked this one up is because it's complete, where the copy that I currently have does not have a manual in it. So this will be able to go in place of that one. And last but not least, I got a copy of Resident Evil Code Veronica on the PS2. Big Halloween theme with some of the stuff that I picked up, but it was the Halloween League swap, so it worked out. Tons of fun. If uh, you're down in the Toronto area or you're thinking about taking a visit for the next event, definitely worth it. Get there early so you can secure a good spot. Basically a bunch of tables to set up, set up your stuff, walk around, look at everybody else's stuff. It's not a very big venue, but lots of fun. I suggest going. Here's just a couple of random pickups that I got. Uh, one was uh, at an EB Games and the other one was um, one my wife grabbed from a uh, pawn shop when she was around. Uh, the first one was a copy of Splatterhouse on the PS3. I own this, but for the price of it I couldn't turn down to be able to have this to trade. And last one here I got from my wife was The Last Remnant on the 360. When I did my 360, um, put a picture up here, but when I did my 360 collection video when I thought I was done, this was one of the ones people suggested that I add to it. And it was recently my son's birthday. What are you going to get? A gaming kid for his birthday? But video games, of course. So kind of more for his birthday, but maybe a little bit for... This is what my, got my son. Paper Mario Color Splash. So far it's pretty cool. He's been playing it and he seems to really enjoy it. A lot more reading in it, but he tends to go on YouTube, watch other people's videos while they're playing it, and then figure out what to do from there if I'm not around or his mom's not around. As suggested from Frazier from Party Player Gaming, it was Pokemon Tournament. This is actually really cool. Basically, Street Fighter or Tekken, and it's with Pokemon characters. Uh, do doesn't have all the characters on the back here, or list them, but there's a Pikachu, Gengar, uh, Charizard's one, um, Machop, or Machamp is one of them, and it's just cool doing their moves and fighting. I uh, haven't delved into it too much, but there's a lot of stuff to unlock as well. And then the real gift that he wanted, um, kind of it was afterthought for his birthday, we didn't know it was out yet, and that is... 
the Skylander's Imagination. Imaginator? Yeah, Skylander's Imaginator. Uh, the game's not in here, this is just the box of it. This is really cool. It comes with one element, a fire element, and I guess you can buy all the other elements. And you put that on the base now, and what it does is allows you to create your own Skylander. So as you play through the games, you unlock uh, sayings, equipment, weapons, abilities, and then you can equip those. And it's a pretty in-depth system and the looks of the characters, and you can build your own Skylander out of that. And this pack here we got, uh, I don't know if you can see, there's the Crash Bandicoot one. So really cool that it came with uh, Crash and uh, Dr. Cortex. And then my last pickup for this video was a mail call. I pre-ordered this at the beginning of the summer from Amazon and it hadn't showed up and it got delayed and then I finally got notification that was coming out and that is Corpse Party on the 3DS, the Back to School Edition. Uh, this one here apparently is a port of the one that came out on the PSP. So they ported it over to the 3DS but they've also added like four new levels in it and basically it's a survival horror game. Looks really cool. Uh, the corpse one here comes with uh, limited edition includes game two exclusive plastic figurines with display bases and additional faces and arms for customization and then a CD soundtrack with 41 music tracks. That's a mouthful. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Good one. I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Perfect time of year to try it out. And why not? With the magic of editing. So there's the game, the soundtrack, and the characters. Very cool pieces. Um, I don't I'll really do much with the characters. I just like having these bonus things. Maybe I'll set them up somewhere in the game room or something. But uh, the soundtrack's cool. Hopefully I'll really enjoy it and can give it a listen. But I'm very excited to give this one a shot. It um, doesn't look like there's really any combat in the game. I don't know too much about it. It's kind of like Clock Tower in a sense where you just kind of go around and discover things and solve puzzles and mysteries but try not to get attacked and hurt but you don't fight so hoping it's uh it's as good as what i'm thinking it is i have it built up pretty high in my head but hopefully it turns out well that's it those are my pickups for the week uh just thanks everybody again for watching uh comment down below give the video a like subscribe if you're new here thanks and remember game on game often